Usually I do not speak about movies on my channel, however, when it was announced that there's a new Dune movie in production, I couldn't be more excited because not only are we getting a new Dune movie, but we're getting two new Dune games which we haven't heard much about yet, one of them being an MMO. Now with the current outbreak going on, naturally many people's concerns was is this movie going to be put on hold, is it going to be delayed because we know many movies have been put on hold and many movies have been delayed. However, today, thanks to Vanity Fair, we got our first official look at the Dune movie. No, it's not a trailer, it is just one shot of Timothy Chalamet playing the young royal Paul Atreides. Now the image you see on the screen at the moment is the only shot we have and looking at it, the first thing it reminded me of to be honest was Death Stranding. It also has a very vibey feel of the first initial image we got of Kylo Ren back in the day, but nevertheless I am very happy that this movie is going forward. Now Vanity Fair has a whole article on their site that I will leave in the link in the description below, but I do want to read some of the paragraphs starting at the top. Quote, the first steps of a hero's journey sometimes begins with a push. At the start of Frank Herbert's science fiction epic Dune, the young royal Paul Atreides prepares to lead the comfortable life he knows for a desolate, dangerous mining planet known as Arrakis, where his wealthy family will oversee extraction of a spice vital to the galaxy. If he only knew the chaos and death that awaits him, he might be even more sorry to leave. This is the first look at Timothy Chalamet as Paul Atreides on his native planet of Caladan from this December's film version of the novel, directed by rival and Blade Runner 2049 filmmaker Dennis Villeneuve. The 1965 book was so seismic in its influence that its echoes still turn up in sci-fi and fantasy storytelling half a century later. Still, it has stubbornly defied appropriate adaptation itself. Tomorrow, Vanity Fair will provide an even more expansive exploration of Villeneuve's quest to bring Dune to the big screen. But today we begin with the central hero, Paul Atreides, a child of privilege raised by a powerful family, but not one strong enough to protect him from the dangers that await. As the Atreides family leaves the oceanic world of Caladan to take over scorching Arrakis, they are also becoming prey to the brutal rival House Harkonnen, which seeks to exploit the desert world they are about to inherit. House Atreides is just one more part of the landscape to annihilate." End quote. Now as I said, the article is quite lengthy, so I definitely recommend you guys check it out, but I just wanted to bring you guys this first look as Paul Atreides in the Dune movie. Now Vanity Fair did state that tomorrow there is going to be more footage, more coverage of the Dune movie. I don't know if they're going to bring a trailer or a teaser of the movie, but you can definitely be sure that I'm going to dive back into Vanity Fair tomorrow and bring you guys an updated look at the Dune movie. So if this is something you guys want to follow, then be sure to click the subscribe button and enable that notification. But if you're excited about the Dune movie, then let me know in the comment sections below what is one thing from the books or even from the games that you want to see in the movie. For me, it's obviously got to be the sandworm and see how they adapt that to the film. So if you enjoyed this video, then give me a thumbs up. If you just like it, then give me a thumbs down. But please tell me why so I can improve my videos. My name is Frank, I'm the Red Tire Guy. And frankly, thank you for watching. Catch you guys in the next video.